Hello and welcome to Insights from the Autistic. I'm going to be discussing the gluten-free, casein-free diet known as the milk and wheat-free diet. So, my, I'm going to discuss my own experiences trying out these diets and also what I believe the impact will be for your child if you do so. I have tried out the casein-free diet um, since the second grade in large casein is a milk particle. It's not the same as lactose intolerance. Some people think it is. It is not. And what happens with the casein, the milk particle, it does not digest. I, I read this in an article. It was over a year ago, probably two or three years ago. So I apologize. I don't have a link. I don't know who wrote the article. Um, so I apologize um, for whatever copyright thing I might be saying right now. But so what happens is the milk particle does not digest and it goes into the bloodstream and up into the brain from and then it starts to mess up the brain but because the child's been like this all their life getting these milk products you know pizza ice cream whatever whatever pudding um, the, you, they get used to it and uh, a sign that that your child might actually have an allergy to this now, now there, there might not be a sign but the sign is is that if your child some children I've heard of autism eat entire blocks of cheese if your child eats an entire block of cheese they're probably allergic to cheese or the milk you know if they, or they love pizza ice cream whatever you know the reason why you're like well if they love it so much how is it that, that that it's bad for them well that's actually one of the reasons because the brain needs it the brain is so used to it even though it messes up with the brain and it causes all the autism behaviors that's why it's like it's like nicotine or you know cigarettes whatever it's bad and uh, since the second grade, like I said, I've, I've been, I had the casein taken on my diet, milk, and the impact was very phenomenal. Uh, my skin used to be much more paler. My skin became darker as well. I had very insane temper tantrums where I would be like biting and kicking and screaming my head off, you know, like, like the absolute worst imaginable temper tantrums. So you got a kid with insane temper tantrums, uh, taking dairy out of the diet might help. It helped me. My temper tantrums greatly rescinded, practically stopped after I had the milk taken out of my diet. So that was of great benefit to me. Next thing, the gluten. So, oh, oh no, one more, one more thing. If you try going casein free, please do it for two months. Uh, and if you don't see any results after two months, then they're probably not allergic. As a matter of fact, I recommend going gluten and casein free and doing that for two months. But gluten now, gluten is the great challenge of challenges here. There's a lot of hidden gluten-free products, and so I have a link to a website that will mention some of those hidden gluten products. I mean, you know, it's in wheat. It's in here. Let me one second here while while I tell you some of the things. It's in white pepper, soy sauce, brown rice syrup, uh, sauces, mustard, salad dressings, licorice, play-doh, some toothpastes, scones, uh, biscuits, pretzels, cakes, etc. Wow. That's a lot of stuff, and that's not even all of it. That sucks terribly. I mean, and, and there's a lot of substitute things out there for gluten-free. You have to do you have to do your research. I'm going to give you that website. There's some stuff on it. Hopefully, it'll be used to you. But yeah, I mean, I've tried I tried going gluten-free for two or three weeks. I live with my dad. Guess what? Not very successful. He's not very supportive of that diet idea. And in my house, there's a lot of bread. So. However, I would say within this two or three weeks that I did try the gluten-free diet, that um, my digestion seemed to go down, and I and emotionally I seemed to be my emotions seemed to be much more calm and better. So, so I felt a lot better taking the gluten-free diet. So, one thing I also want to talk to you about, um, if if you choose to do this for your child, I think it'd be really good as as a parents and family if you guys join it. You know, first of all. You know, you might be eating healthier. A lot of people who don't have autism find it find their health and stuff to go up after they take out the gluten and the casein on their diets. Because you know, there's a lot of unhealthy food stuff, whatever. So you know, this might this is a chance here to eat healthier. So I really, really encourage you, as a parent, uh, brother, sister, uh, significant other, whatever to please join them be supportive you know you know the best way to show your support for something is to do something right along with them and so I really encourage that 
I thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, just let me know. Be sure to check out that link for gluten-free stuff. Uh, casein, essentially milk products, ice cream, uh, cheese, milk, whatever. If it says it has milk, it has milk. Alright, so thank you for watching that video. And I wish you a happy new decade. On just as a side note, I just want to say that um, I'm really looking forward to this new decade. You know, I feel like I'm going to just be able to put it aside the whole last 10 years. You know, there have been good things, but there's also been emotional things, you know, 9 11, um, other stuff like that going on. And, and it feels good to, to have a fresh start. And so for me, I'm going to burn the bridges that don't serve me anymore. And I really look forward. I'm going to be going moving forward into the into the future and I'm just really excited for the new decade so I wish everyone a happy decade and to take care and thank you for watching my video thank you